welcome back well, this is chapter third Gopal and the hills of fish and today I'm going to explain page number 36 and 37 to you so let's talk about the chapter it's uh, as I already mentioned about uh, Gopal and hills of fish Gopal who is the chief character of this story and who is a jester here jester like uh, uh, you can compare uh, if we talk about jesters some of the renowned jesters some of the famous jesters uh, that comes to our mind are Birbal then Tenali Rama from South and uh, this jester hail he hailed from Bengal hills of fish as a variety of fish as a kind of fish which is found in Bengal Assam and uh, in Bangladesh in majority of it that is uh, basically this Hilsha fish comes from Bangladesh. Bangladesh is the source, cheap source, and uh, Podda River there, that is uh, the Ganga River, which enters in Bangladesh, uh, is known by the new name Podda. And this river here, and this river, this fish is found, and in a particular season, it's found in plenty. So, uh, obviously, so uh, Gopal is also, uh, Gopal is from, uh, say, Bengal uh, or related uh, to Bangladesh, Assam, this, this province, you can say. So, let's now proceed and learn what is there in this story. It was the season for Hilsa fish. Fishermen could think of nothing but hilsha fish. Okay, so this was the season for hilsha fish. A particular season in which they are found in plenty. And a particular season when they breed in plentiful and a good number. And this is when uh, the fishermen are mad about it because... Uh, this is very high on demand uh, uh, this fish is so popular or uh, this is so much uh, on demand so uh, people want it so much that uh, fishermen even the fishermen cannot think of any other fish but only hilsha during that particular season monsoon season in particular because uh, it fetches huge amount if other fish uh, is sold for say 200 uh, 200 rupee a kg this is sold for five to six hundred rupees so very much uh, very very much uh, costly very much expensive you can say now not very clear let's zoom it fish mongers sold nothing but hills of fish and fish mongers that is a fisherman sold nothing but hills of fish come by the price of hills of is down today and uh, since the market is full uh, the fish market is full of hilsa fish so uh, everyone there is selling hilsa fish and uh, they would just uh, attract the customers by calling them and announcing that the prices of hilsa is down today come and buy uh, the prices are down today Okay, so 
householders could talk of nothing but hilchafish and even the householders that is uh, people uh, people at home can talk about nothing can uh, bad hilchafish they have only one thing in their mouth that is uh, in market there is only one thing uh, they find that is hilchafish uh, even at their homes at houses or uh, they talk of nothing but hilchafish how much did you pay for that hilsha oh, you wouldn't believe it if i told you so they would just ask how much did you pay for this hilsha because uh, the people who carry hilsha fish uh, would be coming with a sense of pride uh, they, 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 they move very proudly they walk about very proudly and the people uh, look at them enviously jealously uh, so they would ask them how much did you pay for the silsa you wouldn't believe and the one going returning with hilsha would proudly say happily say you wouldn't believe if i told you that is it's quite quite cheap today and in the palace too the courtiers could discuss nothing but hilsha fish okay even at the court at the king's court of people the courtiers can talk of nothing but hilsha fish everywhere people are only thinking of hilsha fish uh, right from the uh, fishermen to the people selling fishes in the market uh, to the buyers even the courtiers everyone is discussing about hilsa fish and nothing else your majesty you should have seen the huge hilsa i caught it was so even at the court uh, people the courtiers would say your majesty you should have seen that is you should have seen the huge hilsha that i caught today so after that coming to the next page stop it are you a courtier or a fisherman now the king getting agitated by all these talks of hilsha fish uh, would angrily furiously say are you a courtier or a fisherman the courtier fell silent with downcast eyes the king felt guilty and the courtiers would have their eyes downwards that is they bow their head and the king felt guilty and the king would feel guilty he would feel bad about it since uh, he had scolded uh, his courtiers so he felt bad about it i'm sorry i lost my temper it is the season for hilsa fish and no one then he would regret it and he'd say i'm sorry i lost my temper i i could not control my temper uh, i'm very much sorry it is the season for hilsa fish since it is the season for hilsa fish and no one is talking about anything else so i got agitated not even gopal can stop anyone from talking about hilsha fish now the king announced that well no one not even gopal is able to stop people from discussing from talking about hilsha fish even for five minutes not even for five minutes oh i think i could your majesty gopal present there exclaimed he shouted and said oh i think i could your majesty he said oh majesty i think i could i could stop people from speaking about it talking about it then let me see you buy 
a huge ulster and bring it to the palace without anyone asking you a word about it now as they said that yes i think i could stop people from talking about it so the king uh, as he challenged say in a way he challenged the king that he could stop people talking about it so the king uh, from his side threw this challenge to him he said uh, make people stop talking about it while you come with hills of fish from the market to the palace I accept the challenge your majesty and Gopal gleefully happily accepted the challenge uh, that was given by that was thrown by the king so this is all for now thank you